today we find ourselves in the key of C sharp, which is the same thing as D flat. Say, for example, we have our C right here on the third fret of the A string. Well, one fret up is C sharp. And up here on our fifth fret is our D. So if we go down one, that's D flat. So if C sharp and D flat are the same key. So don't let that confuse you. All right, our beginner's box. We'll find our uh, figure one. We'll find our root on the ninth fret. And around that, we have our beginner's box. Moving on to figure two, we have a, our intermediate box, which is on the ninth and eleventh frets. To figure 13 which will, will show us our Albert King box for C sharp D flat <laughs> now in figure 4 we'll see the entire lead pattern all tabbed out for us Figure 5, we have the pentatonic minor pattern that we can use for C sharp. <laughs> so, spend time playing the key of C. If you want to use a res reference note, uh, just play a power chord on the 4th fret of the A. Or right here on the ninth fret. There's another of our C sharps. And that right there in the Albert King box you'll find your C sharp. 14th fret of the B string. So, oops. We can always use that C sharp to get back to. Okay, well, in the next lesson we will be jamming in the key of C-sharp, so spend some time becoming familiar with playing in the key of C-sharp. And see if you can identify where those C-sharps are. And until then, we'll see you.